Okay, we're back in Orlando. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com, SiliconAngle.tv. And we're here where all the action is happening around SAP Sapphire 2012. We are in the Cube flagship telecast where we go out to the events and extract a signal from the noise and share that with you. I'm joined with my co-host Dave Vellante and Dinesh Sharma, VP of Marketing for the Cloud at SAP. Welcome uh, to the Cube. Um, and now you're part of Success Factors. The big discussion here today is Success Factors, which is the cloud of SAP as of right now. So, Dinesh, tell us what's happening with Success Factors and everything else. So I was at the CEO press conference in Lars was on the front row sitting right next to me and I was talking to Schnabe and uh, McDermott and, and their message was, I asked about Fusion, which is Oracle's big six-year project, the big all done and six years later it comes out. I asked, is that going to be something similar with uh, before moving to the cloud? And um, yeah. you know, no, first of all, they love the Oracle question because McDermott smiles and goes, yeah, Oracle. And he has standard good anti-Oracle rap, which is good. Um, but and seriously, they answered it in a way that I thought was clever. Give the customer choices, and essentially it's immediate because they want to give the customer as much capability as possible around what they determine what core is and what core isn't. Um, and then, um, so that was one. I want you to comment on that. And the second question is, um, Lars from uh, Success Factors, the company of SAP, said, uh, on-premise isn't going away. Uh, I mean, he used the line, video is supposed to kill the radio star. And he used the famous line there, where obviously video is supposed to kill radio, and radio never really dies. That's just still around. Implying that premise is going to be as radio and still be around and used, but cloud will be, a lot of cloud will be sold out. So comment on those two things. The fusion kind of at long, six years later, you guys are migrating to the cloud, what that means for SAP. And then talk about the on-premise cloud downturn. got something from them now, or they're looking to update some sales uh, capabilities in some subsidiaries or some divisions in different parts of the organization, they can go to a cloud solution even though they may be an on-premise CRM customer as well. We see the world as a heterogeneous world. So and it's going to persist. Hold on, so let me ask one more. So, so one of the things before Dave gets to the question that Lars said was that uh, Shinabe said success factors was successful because it was built from the ground up being cloud. Yes. Okay, so, so that being said, Lars then went on to say that uh, in, in the Q&A that he is building a core engine that has social in all aspects of the application. Can you elaborate on what he means by that? So we were both uh, working on um, a social uh, it being part of the core application. Um, we had uh, the Streamworks initiative, they had Jam, and we are combining those. And we have uh, all the efforts of both companies working on that. As opposed to thinking of this as outside of the application, we're thinking of social as being embedded in absolutely every application from now on. That is really what Lars is talking about, is that we won't be releasing anything which doesn't have social capability from the get-go. 
So I want to go back to that comment about core. And you gave the example of core financials. And that, that makes sense to me. That's very clean, and, and you would expect that to take, take longer. What about something like core HR, uh, where you've got success factors, which is largely you know, talent-oriented, and you've got the core of SAP HR? 